Hello Virgo and welcome to your 2022 forecast. My name is Lisa from It's Practical Magic. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so grateful and glad you are here. I am an intuitive reader of runes, tarot, and oracle cards. And I'm fairly new to YouTube, so if you do enjoy this reading, please hit the subscribe button to be notified when readings for your sign are available. If you are looking for a personal reading, you can find me live Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays on Twitch, or book a private reading. All my links are provided here as well. So let's begin. This is a general forecast for the upcoming year 2022 for Virgo. Please take what resonates and leave what does not, uh, starting with four cards representing each three month that awaits you followed by messages being channeled by your angels ancestors and or guides i will also be pulling an additional two cards representing love wealth and success going into 2022 let's get started virgo all right there we have the three six nine twelve months for 2022 Taking a look at love for you as well. What do we have for love coming through for Virgo, please? Any messages? Oh, and we have a jumper. There we go. We'll take a look at that one. And also for wealth and success. My goodness, Virgo, the, the cards are, are flying out here for you today. We will take a look at both of them. You have two. And of course, we will also take a look at any messages coming through from your angels, ancestors, and or guides for the read as well. For Virgo, what do we have for Virgo, please? For 2022. All right. Let's get started, Virgo. The first three months that we have going forward for you in 22, we have... Uh, oh, well, this is beautiful. <laughs> what a wonderful way to start the new year. We have the happiness card. So I feel like with this card, Virgo, um, you know, you have the butterfly really being symbolized in this image and energy as well, where I feel like you definitely were working on some sort of transformation in the past year. Um, and, and finally, like the hard work and dedication that you put into this transformation is indeed paying off. So this is a wonderful, wonderful start to the new year. It's leaving you feeling happy it's leaving you feeling strong it's leaving you feel motivated uh i mean what 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 better way do you want to kick things off with really very very happy for you virgo taking a look now at the six months we have clarity yeah so i definitely feel um with this as well it goes kind of hand in hand with um you know this this energy that you're feeling for the beginning of the month that you work so hard to achieve um in 2021 but i also feel with the clarity is being said you know who and, and what ha is not serving you in your life? You know, what is causing kind of like this static energy? It's time to push away from it. Okay. So, so if you're noticing that you're feeling like you're drained or you have anxiety or you're being stressed around a, a certain individual or your workplace or whatever, it, it's for a reason. Okay. Something, it, it, it does not fit in your life anymore. Um, you have kind of like rolled and shifted away from it. You're in that process and and it's like, it, it does not belong there. So, so what are the things you can do to eliminate this kind of like the static energy that's coming and trying to kind of like interrupt uh, your, your ball from rolling to continue with like feeling happy to continue, um, you know, receiving success from to continue from um, receiving motivation. It feels a big one for you as well. Let's now take a look. We had the three, six, now going to the nine month period. Peace. So yeah, I definitely feel you You know who this, this person or people are and you are kind of like saying, ha, no, enough is enough. <laughs> enough is enough. You know, um, you, you, in a sense, kind of like served your purpose for whatever time and, and space and place in my life. Um, but clearly you are not on the same page of, as me right now. And it's time to, to, kind of just move away, <laughs> kind of like move away from, from you. And again, take what resonates with you here, Virgo. It could be again, like a relationship. It could be a family member, even it could be your career or, or some sort of like, um, class that you're taking with school. It, it's definitely, um, I feel like it, it's, it's due time. It is due time. Um, and with this shift, with you kind of like really being, um, yeah, just really taking charge of the situation, you are finding this peace. Like, you know, it's kind of like really taking over where you can feel again this happiness that you felt at the beginning of the year. Okay, so I really, really love to see that for you. Um... Let's now take a look at the end of the year for you. So 
end of the year 2022 for you Virgo is family so I feel like you know this is interesting to see really you know there was a lot of you know who who is not you know serving your your higher self who is not helping you along your journey who has not even seen what it is that you're trying to vision for yourself you know in your life um and you've kind of like pushed away from those people with this peace energy and with all those rays you have now attracted kind of like who is meant to be in your life and whether that be like a new type of family um in the in the sense of friends or a relationship or career or you know again whatever resonates with you um but it's leaving you feeling strong and connected and grounded so you know what a wonderful way to start the year and also what a wonderful way to end the year i I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, let's take a look now what awaits you for love, though, going into 2022, Virgo. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. So I feel for you... If you currently are not in a relationship and you've been kind of stressing about <laughs> finding love, I feel like, you know, again, like literally there's plenty of fish in the sea for you, Virgo. Um, and they all are, you know, swimming around you because they all want to be in your life. It's like, I feel, I feel you are very like, uh, popular when it comes to love. Like a lot of people want to love you. Um, it can be romantically or not romantically, but there, there's a lot of love. But I feel like where you're kind of like putting all that stress and pressure on, um, you know, wanting to to find that partner again, if you're not in a relationship, um, it's kind of taking its toll. It's kind of taking its toll and you really need to kind of like just just take a break, have a, have a little bit of rest. If you are in a relationship though, I do feel like this is just saying you need some out time with your partner. I feel like you've been really busy, um, you know, the past year and it's like, you need to just have some one-on-one -on -one time with your partner just to kind of like, just to rest, <laughs> just to rest and, and, you know, to feel love and nurture to kind of like give and take that back to each other. Um, okay. So let's see, you, it must be a lot of success with having the two cards jump there. We have first the Hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide and the Otter spirit. You are never alone alone. So I mean, how interesting that both these cards <laughs> jumped out for your wealth and success going forward into 2022, Virgo. Um, because again, not just saying your spirit guides are with you to let them be your guides when it comes to what it is you want to do. So if you're looking at investments, if you're you know, wanting to change your, your job, if you're wanting to sell your home, if you're like, whatever, whatever it has to do with money. <laughs> I feel like you need to kind of like reach out to your, your spirit guides, ancestors, again, whatever resonates with you, angels even, and say like, you know, please give, give me a sign, <laughs> give me a sign as to what I need to be doing. Um, because you are not alone. You are not alone and they are there to help you. Uh, speaking of ancestors, angels, and our guides, what do we have here? Teach and share and still instruct and educate. So I feel like you know being Virgo that's one of the things that you love to do is to share with others and be just I mean that's why we have all those <laughs> those fish swimming around as well right um so you definitely have had quite the journey not just for this like upcoming year but within your whole life I feel so make sure you are being open and sharing with others it's a very rewarding feeling and I feel like it's going to also bring people into your life who um where you're kind of like you know in a sense almost losing some people it's going to bring those people into your life who are, um, yeah, are hard, just kind of like on the same wavelength as you, I guess is the best way to put it. So Virgo, I hope this uh, was enjoyable for you. Thank you so much for, for joining me today. Take good care.